So drivers coming into Rhode Island's southern border, they're being greeted with a different kind of welcome right now. Signs like the one you see here telling out-of-state drivers to pull over and speak with the National Guard. And then they're off to a state-ordered 14-day quarantine. Reporter Brandon Truitt is live at one of those checkpoints this morning. And Brandon, how has this uh, been working so far? Hey, Danielle, good morning. So we're at one of the four operations where this is happening. I want to move out of the way and bring you into what we're seeing live. And right now, no cars that are coming in, but there's this line of Humvees, a white tent where the National Guard is set up. Those orange cones showing you exactly where people will come up. They'll go to your window, ask for some information. As you saw, there are those signs ordering us out-of-state drivers to pull over. And if they don't, they'll be pulled over by state police and instructed to stop at a secondary location. Location. Now, this is an expanded order by Governor Raimondo. What started out looking for New York plates now applies to any plate from any state. The governor saying this is being enforced on the southern border of Rhode Island, adding that's where most of the traffic is coming from. Now, she points out the four checkpoints could turn into more in the coming days. This applies to all non work travel. If you're passing through the state, you'll be sent on your way. But Governor Raimondo saying that state police are here to make it clear if you are planning to stay in this state, you must self quarantine for 14 days. The procedure we have in place does not violate anyone's constitutional rights. National Guard members will ask drivers to pretend, pre provide their contact information, which will be passed on to the Department of Health, and the National Guard continues to do walkabouts in coastal communities. So you're seeing what this looks like right now is that National Guardsman is talking to this white truck as it's pulling away here. But in addition to these checkpoints, the National Guard is going to be partnering with local police to continue those community checks. We're hearing from Narragansett police this morning saying that they will be starting these door to door information sessions uh, where they are passing along the word, encouraging people that it's safe to just stay home. We're live in Hopkinton. Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.